Hello everybody, what's happening, what's happening? My name's Neil, welcome along to Midlife Motors and welcome back to the MX-5. I haven't done a video about this guy, I haven't done a video for a while actually. So I was on and ah what to, what to come back with and it kind of fell into my lap. This car is now five years old, just had its fifth service, its MOT, that means we've had it for, for two years now. We've more or less doubled the mileage on this car, I think we got it at about three and a half thousand miles. It's coming up to 8,000 miles now, so I thought we'd just go through. I've done a little list here because I kind of I've lost my flow a bit, but I haven't done uh, videos for a little while. We've got some observations that we need to talk about, so I'm heading somewhere where we can pull over and go through them. We've got some good stuff that we can talk about because these cars are great. There's a couple of little niggles that still haven't gone away, so I think on the way up there, I think we'll touch on them first and just get them out of the way. There's a couple of negatives that spring to mind. The first one I've mentioned on a couple of videos, and that is the seats. Not that they're uncomfortable, they're definitely not, and they're very supportive, but the wear on them after just 8,000 miles is pretty unacceptable. I found a product which is actually, I don't know if the product's helped or if it's just been me being super careful getting in and out of these, this car at the moment. That still bugs me a little bit. That still bugs me. We might have to, we might have to fix that over the winter. Uh, the other one, I don't know if this is the car or a sign of the times, but the last, the five year, five year service in MOT was successful, but it was bloody expensive, 263 pounds. And the fifth year service on this car is nothing more than an oil change really. So now that the car's five years old, we've decided we're gonna keep it. I think the servicing is gonna come in house now. Now over the five years, the car's had all the, we're kind of back to square one. So it's had its brake fluid done. It's had its uh, gearbox oil done. It's had the diff oil done. So we're kind of, we're kind of back to a reset. So I think, I think that'll come in house now. I'm looking forward to working on it, to be honest. Moans, over. Well, apart from this traffic, Bear in mind, 70, so this car is five years old. I mean, the design of the Mark IV is probably another two or three, seven or eight years old. And it just looks, this still looks like a out of the wrapper car. If this came out today, you go, wow, look at the state of that. And we're not just talking outside that it looks fantastic, even inside all the, uh, all the, uh, the dashboard, the instrumentation, everything, um, it just looks so modern. It looks bang up to date. Like I say, five years old. I think the uh, the interior of this one helps with the uh, the seats and the extra bit of Alcantara on the dash. But it's just it's just a good looking car. And now that we've done the the new suspension, now that we've got our eye back springs on and we're sitting a little bit lower, it's tidied everything up. It's made the car sit nice and tight. And it's just it's just a good looking motor. Now I'm biased. I prefer the look of the RF to the full-on soft top. Obviously, we've got another full-on soft top in the house. And I think as I've aged, I've become more... I'm enjoying this Targa setup more than the, the full. You're not as exposed. You're not as on show. Nobody really wants to see you. You just want to enjoy your car. And I'm quite liking. I think Targa is probably the way forward for me as I reach my advancing years. The paintwork now it's a it's a it's a matter of some discussion on internet forums etc i'm not mad about stone chips every i was in london once saw a bugatti veyron covered in them so if it's going to happen to that it's going to happen to anything but i would point out the paint on this the sole red is quite soft now the good news is if you get some swirl marks you only have to use a very light cutting agent to get them out but that's not a stone chip there but what i've noticed at the front is the bumper area this bit seems to be okay it must be to do with the airflow even the gloss black bit around the number plate hasn't been damaged but then you come up onto the the bonnet and i'll start pointing a few out now i don't stress about them i know some people would i mean it's not too bad the car's only done 8,000 miles so there's not going to be millions and billions the rest of the car's pretty good i mean i've got one on the wing there but yeah that's quite nasty actually but uh, down the side's pretty much okay you've got to watch out down here i guess that's where some of the road gets thrown up from uh, from the other car i think that most of the marks on there are actually just sand they'll just wash off but there are a few stone chips uh, in and around that area as well but apart from that the horror stories aren't too bad no real peeling of lacquer or anything like that all the 
piano black stuff stays pretty good just make sure you get any bird crap that sort of stuff off uh, pretty quickly this car's covered in wax to try and give it a bit of added protection but doesn't it just it still looks absolutely superb that car absolutely superb Personal to me, really, the things that I love about this car. There's four that really stick out, um, and we'll do some corners while we're uh, while we're doing that because that's why you just get in this car and drive. Number one, we talked about the gearbox this time last year and uh, the importance of staying on top of the gearbox oil. Now we did the oil change, and um, oh, it's just so much better. I will confess, sometimes when the car is uh, stone cold if it's been sitting around for a little while second gear can still you still sometimes have to double clutch just until it all warms up and then it's fine but the gearbox changing the oil what a difference that's made that moves us on straight away to item number two which was upgrading the suspension i mean look at these corners here whereas before i used to say the car rolled and it was a little bit is it blamongy is that what i said yeah man you can just lean on this thing now with the eye bash springs and the flying miata setup i mean you just attack corners like oh and it's so much more stable under brake and you've got a tight corner here and then you're downhill to a really tight brake and you can just nail the brakes and it just goes in a nice straight it, oh it's so much better and then obviously whoa watch out for the tractor but you can get on the throttle so early now as well so that's good too the other thing as you can probably see i fit quite well in this car i find this car quite comfy i'm five foot ten about 80 kilos 12 ish stone something like that and it just fits me fine and i find all the controls really easy to get to i mean it's just got the right amount of stuff in it without pampering you because you don't want to be pampered in this car but out with but without feeling hard done by right some corners up here as well um yes also as you'll probably have noticed with my driving i'm not the last of the late breakers i'm not an oversteery sort of driver i'm more like to try and pick the line and stick to it although it didn't slide a bit there but this car it just doesn't consume consumables so you're not really into this for a lot of money okay we're only at four thousand four thousand eight thousand miles but there's masses of meat left on the brakes masses of tread left on the tires so in this day and age where things are all getting mega expensive and money's tight you don't feel guilty getting out and taking it for a blast because you're not wearing it i mean we're still doing 40 to the gallon which is great now down into this one oh yes and it just drifting across the road nicely this is a tight corner keeping the revs nice and high a little bit light there that one tries to throw you the other way but now with the new suspension and the geo it digs in there when the when the road's slightly off camber the car is nowhere near as unsettled anymore which is great absolutely great i'm going to wrap this video up i'm going to say thanks very much for watching thanks for everybody that's subscribing we're over a thousand now which is woohoo hopefully i'll blow the cobwebs out and i can get some more videos out and just start enjoying things let's finish with these corners i shall see you next time yes enjoy your cars everybody sway about like it used to it's so much more confidence inspiring 